Yeah, Gabriel Olajide is my name. You can simply call me Gabe. I'm from Nigeria. I'm here by myself and I've been in Mountain for the past 10 months. Precisely, I came in here September last year. Thank you. So back in my country, I had worked as an account uh, supervisor and at the same time I worked in operations. Um, right now, in New Brunswick, I work with the government of New Brunswick. Well, I must say it's been awesome in Mountain. My first day was like, I thought within myself, I'm going to a new place, a new city, in a new country, what should I do? I decided to network. I was an active squash player and I still play squash. I told myself I was going to just do squash. I was going to go dancing. I was going to go play everything possible, get to know people. And that was what I did, and it's been very awesome. And during my time here so far, I got support from my club members and the people that I've met, even the studies and everything. Mountain is very supportive for newcomers. Thank you very much. To complement what I said earlier about Mountain being supportive, I meant it, it's really supportive. And the first thing that I observed in Mountain, after living in metropolitan cities around the world, I found people that were coming and warm here. I was walking on the sidewalk once and someone approached me and said, hey, how are you? You look new here. I was like, what? Uh, I almost never experienced that before. That was an eye opener for me. And we started talking as if I knew this person like forever. That was impressive for me. Thank you very much. As I said earlier, I'm a squash player. I am playing active squash. I'm a member of Squash Mountain, where I also volunteer as a squash coach. I give back to the community and that is one of the things that give me joy. Uh, besides that, I love dancing. I dance salsa and bachata. I have some group that I join here and we go dancing all around the city and the province and that is impressive. In a nutshell, if you're new in Moncton, this is what I say to people that I've met. Find your passion. If you love to dance, find that partners. If you love to ride or hike, find people around you. Facebook is there for you to explore. Mountain Cares is there. There are lots of activities for children and adults that you could just be a member. Open yourself up. There are ample opportunities. You are not alone. And I mean it. You are never going to be alone. You just need to be open up. Open up to what is around you. So I'm going to leave this as a take home for my listeners. It is important for you to face the reality that this is a new place. It's a new country. If it's not a new country for you, it might be a new city there will be challenges. You need to be resolute and resilient to face the challenges. The challenges are for the moment. It doesn't last so long. What lasts longer is by the time you're fully settled, you will be glad you did. And those experiences will stay with you and stick with you forever and help you whatsoever you do. Thank you so much. So talking about challenges, this I will address in phases, but I was going to stick to one or two to oversight. One of them is the uh, work environment. It could be very challenging to find a descent, especially for an experienced person. Maybe you've been a manager or a senior executive where you're coming from in your own country. could be a little challenging at the beginning to get started, and you might not get like a job of your choice, but that doesn't mean it's not going to count. You just need to keep pushing, knocking the door. And one more thing, one of the ways to deal with this challenge, or this very challenge that I mentioned with work is, you need to network, like limitless. You will not get sick, and you need to open up. Some of us came from different culture, different background, we are not really open. You need to know that this is Canada, this is North America, it's an open economy, open concept. People are there, that is one. Uh, if you are a student, you really need to study, like hard. There are deadlines. It's not impossible. It just makes you to be more responsible to yourself. That's another challenge you may face. And going back to the cultural thing that I mentioned earlier, if you're coming from a closed culture, you need to understand that this is an open culture. And one way to get along is not giving up your culture, but learning the part here, complement it to what you have, and get going in life. And at the end, it pays off. Trust me, it does.